Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is random variable. The topic is very important as far as the probability distribution is concerned. Okay, so let us see first of all what is this random variable. This random variable is nothing but uh, a function, a uh, function from S to R. Where what is this S? This S is nothing but the sample space. This S is nothing but the sample space for the random experiment. And what is this R? This R is the set of real numbers. Okay. So, simply in a very simple words, uh, you can uh, define the random variable. This uh, may look uh, a difficult one for you to understand. So, let me tell you the very simple uh, definition of random variable okay so it is nothing but suppose uh, you have a sample space for some random experiment and you are just assigning the values to each of the sample points and the values that you are assigning to each of the sample points becomes a random uh, uh, the set becomes a random uh, the set of number will become the random variable okay uh, to make it uh, understood uh, easily let us take a simple example Suppose a coin is tossed twice. So I am taking example. Coin tossed twice. Okay. And let x be the random variable for. And let x be the random variable. Random variable for. For number of tails. Okay. Then find x. Okay, so before I take the example, let me uh, make one remark. The random variable are also always denoted by the capital letters. Sometimes say x, let x be a random variable, say a be a random variable, say y be a random variable. Okay, so it is defined like the capital alphabet. Now, uh, coming back to the problem, what we have, a coin is tossed twice and x is a random variable for number of tails. So, we have to find out x. So, if you have a coin tossed two times, what is the sample space? The sample space would be, uh, both will be, when you call, toss a coin, both uh, outcome will be heads, one head, one tail, one tail, one heads, and both would be tail. So, this are the, these are the possible outcomes. Okay, now what is x? x is the random variable for number of tails. So now let us assign the values. What is it? If x is the number of tails, so how many tails are there? No tails means 0. How many tails are there? 1. How many? 1 and 2. Okay. So this becomes a random variable. For the random experiment, when a coin is tossed twice. Easy? Now let me go ahead with this uh, random variable. Now, I would like to tell you the types of random variables. So, the random variable are of two types. One is one is discrete random variable and another one is continuous continuous random variable. Okay, so these are the two topic uh, two types of uh, random variables. So let us see one by one. Okay, suppose you have for a random experiment, suppose you have <coughs> the random variable say like 0, 1, 2 and here say minus 1, minus 2 for example. Okay, then uh, the these are the uh, elements of uh, or the numbers in the random variable side. Now I can say that these uh, to be a discrete random variable if the random variable will be assigned these values. So when the random values are assigned a discrete value, it is called as random variable. Discrete values I mean uh, this 1, 2, 0, minus 1, minus 2, something like that. Or in other words, you can say if the random variable takes the finite number of uh, or values or countably infinite number of values then it is a, a discrete random variable 
Okay, so this is discrete random variable. Now see what is continuous random variable. Now suppose my uh, random variable uh, not just uh, is attaining a value from zero to one. It is attaining now the this, uh, now the random variable is earlier it was attaining only these these values. Okay, now the random variable is attaining the values from zero to one. Okay, like uh, zero then. 0.1, 0 0.5 and something like that. So all the values in between 0 to 1. If such is the case, then we say that the random variable is of continuous random variable. Okay. And uh, uh, it is a way to identify uh, the problem is on discrete random variable or a continuous random variable. So when we'll be discussing it, when we will be discussing the, discussing the problems, we'll let you know how to identify the given problem is of discrete or is of continuous random variable. Okay. Now, uh, under the same topic of uh, random variable, we have seen these two. Now, I am going to discuss this topic, which is discrete random variable. Okay. And we'll take example based on it and then we'll start the next topic that is continuous random variable followed by the examples of continuous random variable. So let us see what is discrete random variable. So discrete random variable. Uh, we have an abbreviation for this which we can write DRV. Okay, discrete random variable. So this is discrete random variable. Now let us see uh, the two definitions that we have under this topic. So the two definitions that we have under this two topic is probability function is probability function or sometimes for distribution function distribution function. Okay. And the second, second is the distribution function, uh, distribution, oh sorry, this is probability distribution, sorry. This is distribution probability function or probability distribution, sorry. This is probability distribution. Okay, so let us see what is this probability function. Now, uh, suppose you have, uh, let us uh, define a discrete random variable. So let x be a discrete random variable, which is given by, which is uh, given by x1, x2, xn. So x is a discrete random variable given by this and f of x1, f of x2 and f of xn be the responding uh, res corresponding probabilities of x1, x2, xn and so on. Then, then the function, then the function f of x, then the function f of x is said to be probability function said to be probability function if if these two conditions are satisfied that is fx should be greater than equal to 0 and sum of the probabilities is equal to 1 okay so a random variable discrete random variable is defined to you for these points we have defined a probabilities then the function f of x, then the function f of x is said to be a probability function if these two conditions are satisfied. One is, one says all the probability should be positive and the second says sum of the probabilities is equal to 1. Okay, so this is the definition of uh, probability function. Now we have the second definition. Now we have the second definition of distribution function. Okay, so second definition is distribution, distribution function. So we have the distribution function. So again, like the previous one, we'll be having a discrete random variable x. 
which is given as say x1 x2 say xn and for this we will be having corresponding probabilities f of x1 f of x2 and f of xn <coughs> okay then then the probability function f of x is defined as or is given as the values minus infinity less than x less than x1 okay so <clears throat> what is the probability what is the probability for x which is greater than minus infinity but less than x1 so for less than x1 do we have any probability no this is for x1 not for less than x1 so we have zero always remember now uh, in the probability uh, sorry in the distribution function you will always be having zero as the initial value okay now go ahead by taking values of x values of x greater than x1 it should be greater than equal to okay sorry the value of x greater than or equal to x1 but less than x2 so what is the value of uh, what is the probability for this condition f of x1 right so we have 0 plus f of x1 as the probability for this likewise for x2 less than equal to x less than x3 what is the probability for this probability for x2 greater than equal to x2 but less than x3 so what is it the probability is f of x2 but as the another name of distribution function is called cumulative distribution so you have to carry on the values that we have previous so it is like f of x1 plus f of x2 next for x3 less than equal to x less than x4 so for this we have what value value of probability for f x3 okay plus the previous probabilities so probability for x3 is f of x3 and the previous one that you have to add because it is a cumulative probability f of x1 f of x2 f of x3 and so on what should be the last probability for xn greater than equal to xn but less than positive infinity so this should be f of x1 f of x2 f of xn minus 1 and what is the probability for x is equal to xn it is f of xn okay so the distribution function can be defined or given by in this way do you remember what is it what is it this is sum of the probability and what is sum of the probabilities one so always remember that in the distribution function you will be having a final value as one okay so initial value zero final value one it is a way of uh, uh, cross checking whether you are having uh, whether you have done the problem correctly or not if you started with zero and by the cumulative distribution okay if you are getting the final answer as one means the problem seems to be correct okay so this is what we have in this learning video for the time being in the very next video we'll see the problems on discrete random variable okay so thank you for watching this learning video